of tripping on top. Be there! Scour the spaceways! Explore vast alien worlds! This tin right here contains the whole rigmarole. I used to smoke about an ounce of hash every day. Do it. And it made me go a little bonkers. Uh, maybe. If I occupy his mind with more duties, I can control his space. Hi. Big fat Hi. doobies. Hi. Hi. Oh, hi. Today is Saturday, October 3rd, 2020, episode 215 of The Hot Box. I'm Matt. That's Grand. What's up, Grand? What's up, buddy? How you doing today? Good, man. How you doing? Another day in paradise, right? Hell yeah. Taking some dabs, smoking some flour. Episode... Is it dab time now? No, not yet. Calm down. Calm down. Okay. I know. You jump in the gun. Jump in the gun. You said dab. I did. I. I that's my fault. Hotboxpodcast.com, hotbox.earth. That's the website. Check it out. Streaming live here in the R Dabs Discord. R Dabs, because they are. They're R Dabs. Uh, you can find the link on the site and in the subreddit. There's a pin <laughs> pin post right there in R Dabs that you can uh, find the link and everything. Come hang out, playing some video games, smoking some weed, all that shit. Uh, you guys had a movie night? We did. I always miss these. You always miss the movie nights? I do. I never I seem to catch a movie night. Them. What was that, Vent? I always fall asleep during them. <laughs> <laughs> it's because you dab oh, every 40 That's minutes. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's because when movie night hits, we're dabbing like every five minutes. And That's then true. it's just, yeah. So there is one thing I want to talk about that happened at last night's movie night that I think should be found on what the hell happened. Uh-oh. So somebody normally, acting sus. I think so. Somebody is acting sus <laughs> and we need to find out who I, I need all of you on this. So <laughs> normally when we do movie night, we have like probably what we have in here, you know, maybe five, six, eight people, maybe 10 people vote. Sure. Well, last night we had uh, six votes for well, we had a vote of Tropic Thunder or um, Land of the Lost or other. Mm -hmm. And you would suggest your movie in Hotbox or I'm sorry, in movie night. Sure. And uh so we had six votes for Tropic Thunder, and then we had 33 votes for Land of the Lost. Interesting. And you think Will Ferrell is the one that sabotaged your poll, or what, what do you think? I think Will Ferrell came in with a VPN <laughs> and just voted his movie over and over and over and over again and go, just watch it! Now, is this a voting platform you yourself scripted? Are there security vulnerabilities Trouble. that could be exploited to game the system, or what? What? It it is absolutely. It's it's absolutely uh, not mine in any shape, way, or form. Okay, nor it's straw poll. It. I guess yes, you. it's straw poll. Um, yes. and Thank you, Venter. It is absolutely hackable. I'm sure. Um, I think a VPN is one way I could guess without actually knowing how. Um, but. And Dude, so actually, your your main beef is that somebody voted a whole bunch of times for Land of the Lost, and that's not what no, movie. No, I'm not. I'm not even mad about that. Like Land of the Lost is a good movie. Don't get me wrong, movie. and it, it was a good movie for last night. But I just I did not see 33 people in there watching Land of the Lost with me. I got you, but that doesn't necessarily mean someone gamed it, right? That could just be people thinking that. They just well, saw a last, straw poll and wanted to vote, but then maybe didn't necessarily get to watch the movie with you guys. The last poll had like 12 responses, though. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Before. Okay. So it was like double for just one choice of what our entire responses were for like the last vote. I got Something you. is up. <laughs> Something is amiss. Interesting. I, I, could, I could even see 20. Like that argument for 20? Okay. You know what? Maybe there are 20 stoners on here who voted and just didn't show up. I expect half of the people who vote not to show up. That's just what we do. We forget about shit. Oh, dude, Land of Lost sounds sick. And then it's like, <laughs> what was what was I supposed to do again in like 15 minutes? The memes in the chat right now are awesome. <laughs> the emergency meeting. We've been playing a lot of Among Us. I know uh, Freeman, one of the cats in the in the chat here, they have a little gaming server set up that we had a, a decent game of Among Us going on in. Shit's pretty oh, fun. Oh, really? Yeah. It was good. I good didn't times. know that. Yeah, I got my brother to play. Uh, yeah. 
Good times. You should have let us know. We did. I mean, we, we, we always throw the like code the up in the. Here. I always throw the code up in the gaming channel, when, whenever there's a uh, game. And then I've sometimes, if I remember, I try to delete it when we're done, just so it's not like stale codes in there. But yeah. Uh, other gamer news: You guys have been playing some Rocket League. That's pretty sweet. We have. I got Rocket League on my Switch, and I read. Do you? about how to be able to set it up to play with you guys. It just said there's like a username and password you have to add when you join, and then it'll join you to the, the game or something. Really? See, yeah. we were trying to figure it out. There's something like, all we have to do is like get in the same party, and I can add you in the clan that we have built on there, and then we can find each other easy. Yeah, it said for Switch specifically to play with like Xbox and PC, like you had to start the game in private and then get that username and password, and then you could put that in when you go to join a private game on the Switch. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get it set up. I've been playing quite a bit. I'm, I think I'm getting good, but I might just also I be playing with good. like people that aren't very good because I'm getting really good at, at scoring goals right off the bat, like just hitting the ball right <laughs> in. People really hate that. I've noticed. And, uh, yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's always a dick move. I'm getting good at like timing the car and the ball and all that. Like that shit gave me a real hard time when I first started playing. Like timing it is a rough out. One. Yeah, but yeah, once you get it figured out, that shit's really fun. Matt says in Hotbox, uh, at Matt, give me your friend code. Okay. So make sure you give yeah. me your friend code later on. Well, here, we'll we can just pause the show. I'll run downstairs, grab my Switch, maybe yeah, we'll get yeah. a game Go, going. Go ahead and stop recording. <laughs> Everybody hold on and stay here. We're going to do this right now. Sorry, Zab. <laughs> Uh, you're going to take a five gram dab, a five grand damn gram dab here. Uh, are you regretting that yet? That you opened your mouth uh, about being able to take five grams uh, all at once? A little, uh, I, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah. I, never, I never expected anybody to actually do it. Yeah, at least you're honest. Yeah, yeah, no, that's... That's good. We're gonna no, make you no, cry. Yeah. We're definitely gonna make you cry. <laughs> you know, you realize I will puke on camera, and oh, I can't sure. turn off the oh, camera because, man. like, like I can't turn off the camera because everybody wants to see this shit. So I proof for it didn't happen. Yeah, I mean, I, in the words of Garth, if you're gonna spew, spew into this, and this would be might. like a bucket, or <laughs> Yo, you might as well Twitch stream it. Yeah. I the bet. Twitch streaming I bet. The best. I bet you'll get some extra subscribers to your OnlyFans because I bet some of those people are into puke porn. So you know, there's that to consider. <laughs> there's there's always that to consider. But uh, yeah, you just I'm, I'm mentioned. Sure. I had just woke up too, so I didn't really know what I was like typing, and like I just saw you say something about five gram dabs, and I was like, done. What do we need to make it happen? He was like. <laughs> 80 bucks i'm like done what's your paypal <laughs> hell yeah i thought you were joking so i'm like you know what fine here there you go and then all of a sudden i just look at my paypal it's like bling like you mother five grams you. it is now what was the 84 is that to go buy the oil for the that is to buy all of okay. the oil yes and you can it, get it, five grams for 80 bucks That's... well it's going to be six for a hundred but i can uh, okay but yeah, it's it's eighty dollars roughly for that. So you're I taking a six gram minutes. dab, is what you're saying. <laughs> I don't mean to put words in your mouth. Sorry, I heard six no. grams and five. Right. Okay. Five. Right. Eastern Dank said I donated twenty to the PayPal for the cheese that's after. <laughs> oh my you're god. You're a gentleman and a scholar, Eastern Dank. Thank you. What was that? You're dabbing twenty grams now. Twenty grams it, for PayPal. <laughs> uh, Hell yeah. I'm excited for that. That would be a $350 that. dab. So, uh, let's see. From the subreddit, am I the only one that sorts by new? <laughs> like, when they go into specific subreddits? Like, usually when I just open Reddit on my phone, I just sort by, like, best or hot or whatever. <clears throat> uh, no. But then, like, if I'm in specific subreddits, I kind of like to see what's what's new. So I'll sort by new. And I kind of regretted doing that after I did it uh, in... <laughs> In the, the RDAB subreddit. Oh, and it looks like the post, the first post is already deleted, but it was a it was a post about somebody trying to find some medicine and like all of the comments were like, okay, cop, or like it's weird that you're asking for just like whatever the limit would be for like a felony or something. I don't know. There was a bunch of like super sus comments in that thread. It's a three year old account with no other comments. Or any other pose. Yeah. 
but I just oh, you only need a felony amount at most. No problem, officer. <laughs> yeah, right this way. Fucking moron. <laughs> Uh, but I guess that's that's why we don't sort by new. I I didn't realize because I never usually see those those kinds of posts, and I, I guess they don't last very long uh, when they're when they're in there. Um, but that's another amazing. another one I found posted by user Tronic Green Dabber four twenty I thought was uh, maybe something for an interesting discussion uh, about which banger for getting good flavor and which is better thin or thick banger. And the first comment was like Evan Shore banger. <laughs> And I'm like, I had to obviously comment for my boy, Mr. Jake Miser and, and his bangers. But I thought the discussion between thin versus thick, uh, cold starts versus non. Obviously, if you're cold starting, a thicker thin works, but thinner will get the heat to the dab faster. But that may also, if it's too thin, you could end up burning it a lot easier. I, and also won't hold the heat as much. So you might have to... You right. might not be able to smoke a whole dab. I think there's definitely a uh, a good medium somewhere. I don't really like the thick, thick ones just because fucking they take forever to heat and then you have to let them cool before. before if you're you doing like them. regular, regular starts. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think um, two and a half millimeters is like a good thickness for the round bottoms for cold I agree. starts. Yeah. I agree. And the two and a half millimeters is about what the Evan Shore is. That's Roughly, probably a I mean, three, I think, because the the two you, uh, the two to threes are like what yeah. the uh, the economizers are, and they're no, you're right, a you're little right. thinner it, it, it out more. than the heat misers, which are like four to five millimeter thick. But yes, like, I yeah. definitely notice using those economizers, those round bottoms <laughs> for cold starts, like between having that perfectly round bottom and then having it a little thinner, like it definitely gets going a lot faster than on on the thicker bottom bangers. You know, I want I want to try a heat miser. I I have never tried one. I've tried normal shit with like inserts, and I've tried Evan Shore. I need to try misers. And that round bottom looks like it's sick as hell. Yeah, they're dope, especially for like seventy bucks and a little shipping. Like that's pretty sweet for a nice American made piece of quartz. Right. If I could the, keep them in stock for more well. than a day, I would definitely have one for you. <laughs> Dude, that, no, I know. I'm on that, the list. Nuts. We're getting them soon. Everybody's been hitting me up on Instagram because it's it's like that time again where people are like, "Oh, I need another banger," and like, "Sorry, I know we're all out of stock." But no, I think you sold out like within an hour, didn't you? Yeah, the, like, I, the last one on the was Discord? like, I was on vacation in Montana and he finished them, so I just had him send them there, and like they didn't even make it to the website just between Discord and my Instagram, like they were gone within like a couple hours. It was oh ridiculous. My God, that's so messed up. I'm like, cool. Um, the one that you get from here and Instagram know, that, too. That box you just sent me, I need another one like as soon as you can because <laughs> they're gone. You know that one that you just sent? Yeah, I need another. Just feeling like an addict. Like I know you said this prescription should last thirty days. Uh, I went through it in three, so I, I'm gonna need. <laughs> I need more bangers, man. You should almost <laughs> double up on the order now. I, I do. At this point, he just sends me what he what he has done. Like I'm like oh, I'll really? take as many of them as you can make for me. <laughs> wow. So, yeah. Because it used to be well. like I would get three of each. Cause I wasn't sure like what styles, 45s, 90s, females, males. So I'd, I'd try and just get a few of each. And then as I started figuring out what was going, obviously the 10s and 14s males, that's what everyone's uh, using. Pretty much using Then I the started part, getting yeah. like five of each and then those were going. And then I was like, I need 10 of each and those were going. And now it's, I'm just like, just send me what you can. <laughs> like just give me, give me them all. <laughs> Fuck all these other stores. Just give them to me. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, he's definitely, he's working on it. I know he had to take a break for a while when the smoke got really bad, because if you can't use I your mean, ventilation shit, yeah. when you're out there, like, you can't be fucking working with all they these look, torches and full, so nice, full respirator masks and shit, like, that gets hot after a while. <laughs> it looks really, really nice, too. I'm definitely not an insert one, unless you have, like, a round bottom insert, which would be very interesting. I would love to see that. Yeah, I don't think they're really made for that. I mean, they're 20 mil <laughs> diameter. Yeah, like, yeah, you'd have to have a super small insert that kind of sat in there. And, yeah, I don't know. It's more it's more of the cold start kind. We had a little discussion about this in general earlier, and I just I, I just go back to me just being a, a snobby quartz purist. Like, I don't need any, any adulterants in there. I don't need any Teflon or whatever these kids are using these days. <laughs> 
Now, you having owned an Evan Shore before, what were your thoughts on the Evan Shore? Obviously, you like the Miser more. Yeah. But His are good. My friend thoughts? has one I really like because it's like a 30 millimeter gavel made by Evan Shore. Ooh. And I do like that one. That's the guy that taught me the paper towel tech because his banger was so big. He just like wipe it out with one one swipe of the old paper towel instead of using like eight q-tips because of how big it is you know right um, and i really like that one i'm not a big fan of his smaller ones i think i i prefer the the heat miser profile compared to the the design of the the smaller evan shores but they are nice for sure yeah i i uh, it's, it's good to like have variety that. yeah Kind of like you said, though, it's more of like that one thing just to kind of flex a little bit, not something that you use all the time. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, the fully fumed out ones, yeah. I mean, you could use yeah. them all the time cold starting and stuff and not worry about it. It's just we had somebody mention in the chat that their friend came over and like completely just chazzed up their banger with his own oil. Like he brought some oil that wasn't very good, maybe took <clears> a little <throat> too hot. And I was joking. Like, that's that's what the fine china is for. That's what you bring that shit out for. But I would Dude, definitely... Yeah, even with this one trying to take care of it and only cold starting, even just cleaning it with a rough sponge, you can scratch that bottom. I have. Yeah. It's 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 hurt my it's, it's hurt quartz. my heart. Do you think it scratches? I think the. What fuming, are, you, are you using a Brillo I pad? Think, <laughs> no, but I think the fuming oh. will come off. Really, it shouldn't because it should be encased, right? Yeah, I don't. It should be on the inside. Yeah. Is it? I don't know. I would hit up Evan about that and be like, hey. I took a Brillo pad to your uh, water tech here, and it. Uh, I have a clear but, uh, yeah, banger horse now. Isn't, horse isn't exactly like that hard. I think it's like a six on the most scale, so not that different from normal glass. Where's diamond on the most scale? Like a ten? Would be the, would be a 10 Diamond's yeah. a ten. Okay. Well, I didn't so, like, know what the most scale goes to. Never so, even like, heard of that. Is a nine. Yeah. But just because it's hard doesn't necessarily mean it's a good dabbing surface i mean yeah take your absolutely. your ruby pearls for example i heard i'm glad i remembered to bring this up how many uh how many ruby pearls have you broken uh this month uh, i have me like six and i have not broken one no you grand did you, did you i break haven't broken some... any this month uh, okay how many did you break last month i forgot none. it's only october 3rd how many did you break last month none no who broke all their none. ruby pearls i thought that was you I have just they, they broke oh like a long time. Oh, ago. okay. I thought this was a recent thing. Well, never mind then. No, 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 no. I mean, I was gonna you give you me. a bunch of shit for breaking your things. Uh, this one is cracked, and you can kind of see it, but not really. Is this that from one, dropping them in hot? That or is from he dropping them ISO hot? Oh, okay. After the dab, a little too hot. Okay. This okay. one. Straight up cracked in half. Do we know the COE of... Are, is that Ruby? This is Ruby, yes. Versus well, Boro? Because Boro's, Boro's 33. So what's... Somebody look up. What's the COE of uh, of Ruby? It's got to it's it's, be higher than, than Boro. It is. It's like 100 or, or 200 or something like that. Because I've got two Lucy Boro pearls. And like I'll, I'll wipe out the banger with the paper towel with them still in there. And then I'll use the tweezers and set them on some ISO on a paper towel. But I'm not, like, dunking them, but I'm putting them, and I hear it sizzle, like, when I wipe them off with the paper towel in there, but I've never cracked one yet. But I'm also cold starting, so I may not be getting it as hot as you are. My, my Boro Pearls, I've never had any issue with dunking. It's only the Ruby ones. They just, they're so susceptible. Like, all they have to do is just have that, just a little bit of heat, and they'll fucking crack. Your Boro ones don't have enough heat when you dab with them correctly. If you're dabbing at 800 degrees, I think you would fucking crack those bitches too. But if you're dabbing with a Boro one correctly or a Quartz one correctly, you can put that bitch in the fucking ISO right away, no issue. Because, I mean, a sphere is a very, very strong structure as is, so it's going to have a little bit more of a strong... That's weird too, because this says it's 5.8, it. which is much lower than Boro. But yeah, maybe you well, are just getting it hotter. Or something. I, I, I'm thinking of uh, I'm thinking of the heat exchange, not the uh, the actual thermal shock rating. The thermal shock rating should be way lower because Ruby is a very very extremely sensitive to thermal shock. Hmm. So the one on quartz should be like way higher than forty. 
Boro is less thermal of, uh, has a, a lower thermal shock rating than Quartz does. Oh, the goddamn dogs. Hold on. <laughs> Nita! Nita! Oh, man. Right? <laughs> Positive reinforcement, not negative. Give them a treat. <laughs> Uh, I thought this post was kind of funny by a jar of peanuts over there on the dab subreddit. Am I a crackhead yet? Uh, I don't know. I mean, Slightly, maybe. it depends what you're putting on that. If you're putting crack on that, then sure. I mean, I would agree. I've heated knives like that before. Did I feel like a crackhead? Not necessarily. Good old hot knifing. Oh, yeah. Crackhead. <laughs> it's just funny the things people associate with, like, crackheaded behavior like taking that dabs is a crackhead behavior, every though. 40 minutes on the dot that's a crackhead behavior though putting that shit on a fucking like what is he doing heat cleaning i think he doesn't have heating it up because he doesn't have a torch right yeah i don't know you, i've seen people heat clean like food. that don't you uh isn't it you who heat cleans their inserts like that oh yeah i, I tossed my silicon carbide on the propane so just right on the old coleman <laughs> Ah, yes, that's brilliant. Shit burns clean off. Don't have to worry about any thermal shock. Fry up an egg or two. I mean, it's well, awesome. I, I need to get some tiny ass eggs and I'll fry up some in uh, silicon carbide. Some tiny, tiny eggs. That'd be so funny. Little venture okay, so there. Folks, cracking is tiny eggs. Is he heating eggs. it up to dab or is he heating it to clean it? I would say like would to clean. dab. I also like this comment about, have you ever taken a dab with a car cigarette lighter and a straw? Hot knives seem luxurious in comparison. Oh my god. <laughs> now that I have not done. I've definitely <laughs> done the, the knives. I cannot say I've been there. Okay, uh, so who wants to volunteer for that one? Because I'm not doing ooh, it. I don't have that kind I'm of stove. I'm doing five gram dab, I get a pass on that one. Yeah, I don't, I don't have that kind of stove, Do so five grams I get a pass. The the, the Hi, yeah, just put a, <laughs> put a skillet, put a skillet on the stove, crank that bitch up, get your terpometer, see what the temp's at, and then fucking just throw it all on there, flash in the Matt, pan style. You gotta get your Hellcat going and dab off the exhaust pipes. Oof. <laughs> if put I it, only had a Hellcat. As soon as we put oh, a supercharger on shop. it, it'll be a Hellcat. Yeah, <laughs> it's my just ass missing can afford it. a Hellcat. Uh, uh, well, none of us can afford a Hellcat. It's all about how much debt you're willing to go into for it. <laughs> uh, well, fuck yeah. well, Matthew, it's a little bit past 420, and it's a little bit past 422. Mm. But Hey, I'm impressed with you. Baby steps, bro. Hit that shit up. You're an idiot. <laughs> That's I was two going minutes. to say, if, if, if you would have let me finish... You would have not said that because I was going to say, how dare you make me wait that long? Oh, I, I was supposed to dab three minutes ago. I know. I was no, proud of you for... I, I was proud of you for going three minutes longer than, than you're supposed to. Like, that's that's good progress. Now I'm going to have to take another dab before the end of the show. You know that, We're right? going to get through this together. Play Just the ad. Even it out. Can, we can't even talk about what we're smoking on today. Just play the ad. Fine. Whatever. This episode of the Hot Box is brought to you by Gary's Glass Adventure. Go to Gary'sGlassAdventure.com and check out his shop for any of your dabbing needs. Gary's Glass has quality German quartz and bangers of all sorts. They come in all sizes, 10, 14, and 18 millimeter. Also available are quality ruby pearls and rigs from a variety of artists. Again, that's Gary'sGlassAdventure.com. Use promo code R slash dabs710 to get 10% off your order. This episode is also brought to you by Sweet Piece of Glass. Spog is an amazing website with lots of great pieces and a large assortment of accessories from artists like Chappelle Glass, Unlimited Glass, and Glassmith. Quartz by Jake Miser and J Red Glass. There's almost nothing you can't find from Spog. Matt always takes care of his customers, and if you're in the Discord, he'll often give you a deal. So join the Discord and check out his shop to pick out your very own functional piece of art. He can be found at sweetpieceofglass.com and in the Discord. I always feel proper to talk about what you're dabbing after you've dabbed it while you're struggling for breath. <laughs> Since he's dabbing, I'm not even dabbing. I usually smoke flour during these shows. I don't know. It's too much I'm some flour as well. It's too much stuff to have up here. Like I got I got a machine, mic, mixer, like I got too much stuff. 
I don't want to. You might be struggling for air after a dab. I, I might be at this point. It's uh, I took a good one yesterday at work, and I was like, whew, I had to set my cup down. Yeah, I, that was a good one. I have some wedding cake loaded up in the vape with some uh, some D8 Disney on it. Nice. Ooh, How are you yeah. enjoying the, the D8? You it's like it? Good. Yeah. It's a lot cheaper than normal stuff. Right? The normal stuff. Yeah. If, if you're going to cut your stuff, cut it with good stuff. <laughs> Like if you're exactly. if you're trying to make that shit last longer, I have friends up here that'll do that, and like they'll get they'll get some uh, dabs at the shop that have just like a bunch of terps and not very much like THCA content, and then they'll just dump in like THCA and just cut it and turn okay. like a nice gram into a nice like five grams. There you go. It just depends on the lab you buy from and like what their formulations are. Some are more terp heavy than others, and some runs come out more terpy than others, so they have more of that top layer to to reconstitute with. Woo! <coughs> Coming to haunt me. <coughs> Ooh. Purple alien for me right now. Which is pretty good indica. <laughs> Hits nice and heavy. Nice. Was that That's what was on that? Is that huh? what was on that parchment? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that should look good. Yeah, that'll be uh, part of what I'm dabbing for the 5 gram. I'm thinking... Uh, Are you doing some... a, a mixture? I am. Okay. I'm going to be doing five different strains. I figure if I'm going to do it, I might as well go full out and get the full-on terpene effect. I'd like to see you do just the the perfect definition of like full, broad spectrum. I would like to see... THCA, CBD, some CBG in there, some Delta 8, Delta 9. I'd like to see you just, just see my jar. the whole... I'd like to see you dab Venter's jar, <laughs> basically. Basically, yeah. <laughs> and then send the reclaim back to him. Here, this is... I'll be uh, doing some London Pound Cake, Maui Waui, Purple Alien, some Gelati, and some Runts. Nice. You should do just all sativas and see if you have a heart attack. <laughs> or or a panic yeah. attack. <laughs> just straight up green crack. Or crack. Just straight up green crack. I have yeah. green crack growing in my tent. Actually, it's called gorilla crack because it's crossed with GG4. Mm. Mm. Gives it a nice healthy musk to it. Yeah, more of the for the uh, healthy bud production, you know. Nice. How do we feel about diamonds? User Angel Bong uh, posted that diamonds are our girl's best friend. That is the cliche <laughs> that you always hear. Uh, do, do we like diamonds? Are you into diamonds? Is it just a flex thing? For me personally, I always, if I get them, I just like crush them up because I like that more sandy like, you, like, terp you sauce like consistency. It. And then I like to snort it also. <laughs> right. <laughs> Don't so, snort your diamonds, um, kids. I, mean, I think first of getting you high the same way. So yeah, absolutely. I, I actually, okay. Um, in terp sauce. Yes. It will get you high the same way. Dry diamonds, however, have a slightly different high. Just pure THCA has a slightly different high. It's like a cleaner high or something like that because it it doesn't have the terpenes in it. It's it's really weird. I think boring I boring is the word you're looking for. Boring. Boring. <laughs> yeah, like, like kind of kind of like Zam says, less foggy headed high. It, yeah. It's like a very clear, clean high. Some it's people just... though can't handle that. Like just straight concentrated thca like that like even though you're not fully decarbing all of it and you're inhaling a mix of thc and thca like it right, gives right. some people severe anxiety yeah i mean i think that's just the mass amount the person of THCA. Yeah, yeah for sure but i i personally prefer like either thca in sauce or just some you know resin or rosin yeah, it and always it has a it, in with it. And... You always see that it costs more too, and that's why I always tend yep. to go with like the other consistency because I know like I'm not, I don't need it for like an Instagram photo shoot or anything. Like I'm literally just dabbing, and uh, if I can save some cash, and and it's, I mean, it's all the same shit in the end. It's just you know, right. what's your consistency preference? So yeah, it's it's always preference and i i think that slight difference in high is also what preference too yeah and i mean i get it like it does it yeah. takes longer to grow nice 
facets than it does to just let your shit sand out you know like there there is there is more time put into it and everything and not all strains will do it so you know there may not be as much of it as like the sand consistency or whatever Uh, because some strains will just want to want to sand out and others will actually grow nice facets i mean you can get them all all to grow facets if you do like second solvent recrystallizations and shit but again that's even more time yeah yeah yeah. and then you have to know what you're doing because you have to get everything to crash out a solution and using things that won't harm whatever you're going to be smoking and all that like we need this on the shelves like three months ago not in six months so (laughs) right right yeah i need to sell this yesterday yeah uh, but yeah, you see a, a lot of people always like it because they're, it's like an ego thing. It's like, oh, these are big diamonds. That means I'm better than people with small I, diamonds. I don't know. <laughs> I, I definitely think it's a little bit of a dick measuring contest, but I don't think that it's all hype. It is pretty good. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like I said, it's just, it's just all kind of ha- like that different thing. Like, it's nice having a like a gram of it set aside and be able to bring it in every now and then. It's great to throw in with bowls. I love that. And like uh, B in uh, chat, he actually loves THCA. He prefers it. Yeah. Uh, the solventless THCA. Yeah, actually. it all depends on your endocannabinoid system and like what what exactly. you prefer personally. But exactly, and that, that's why I think everybody needs to come back to is that calm everybody's down. gonna like something different and chill the fuck out. Everybody <laughs> needs to just calm down. <laughs> Just because yeah. you like diamonds doesn't make you better. Just because you like rosin doesn't make you better, yeah. and vice versa. Maybe Grand Everything. Grand likes his work slabs. You know, then that's that's what Grand likes. You know, we all like what we like. We're gonna get the we're gonna get the hashheads mad. <laughs> I know, that's okay. I don't think hashheads listen to this. They listen to Hash Church. <laughs> uh, so, do you like D nine? That's just raw, unflavored, like just that. Or do you do you prefer your your THC in an isolated acid form? <laughs> Are you talking to me? Uh bong hit. Uh yeah. Cause you said you I really like THCA diamonds but without the sauce. So that makes me wonder if you like no. distillate no, without no, the terps it too, because that's just the decarb version of it. No, I, I didn't say I like that. What? I said I like like regular resin or rosin or something I, I love, with terps in okay. it i was saying that i personally don't i the thca is nice don't get me wrong but i just i would rather have something with a little bit more terps in it i got you i must have misheard <laughs> yes uh and that you kind absolutely of did. goes into the next uh post here from user kyrim about the differences between wax resins shatters sugars and terps and i i feel like we've we've talked about this a little bit but again it's it's just all like consistency like it's all the same cannabinoid spread unless you're actually making isolates then you're targeting for for those specific ones but then it's all just yes. how you finish it like are you whipping it are you hot plating it are you vac purging it are you pouring it out super saturated are you pouring it out to where you have to scrape it out like it, it's all it, it, it just all depends. another another cool thing with that is uh something i i Something that I've always said, I don't want to say I came up with it because I don't want to try to take credit for anything that's not really mine. But um, something that I've always talked about in this Discord is the kind of wax life cycle. Like, normally a lot of people will like shatter, which, as you said, everything is just a consistency. Yes, there is a little bit of difference in the terps and the THC because they're kind of separating out, maybe a little bit more volatile, and whatever the hell that even means. But there's kind of like a life cycle that goes on. Like if if you start with shatter and you have your shatter sitting around, normally that shatter will start to sugar up. And then from a sugar, it'll turn into a butter. And then from a butter, it'll turn into like a crumble. Right. But there's kinda, things that dictate that. that, that life cycle. There's, it depends on the amount of terps in it, like you said. And it depends a- on the moisture content. It depends on the humidity in the room. It depends on the temperature. Yes, because all yes. of these things are adding energy into that slab of shatter and that energy is what causes this nucleation to start happening. And once it starts happening, it, it just goes like, you can't really, you can cut out pieces of it, but unless you change one of those variables, either remove the moisture, drop the humidity, drop the temperature, like fix one of those variables, you're not going to stop it from happening. Eventually you will get to that point. And that's just, that's the life cycle of it. 
It's not going to stay that way forever because time, as time goes on, like these things degrade and oxidize. Things things don't just stay the same. And that's why I said normally too is – it all, it doesn't even always follow this life cycle. It can go from shatter just to crumble all of a sudden, or from shatter to sugar. It just normally kind of follows that somewhat of a path. And it's it's actually I love buttered up shatter. It's one of the most tasty things to me, in my opinion. I just the way the turps and the THC are separating. And I don't know. It's just oh, I'd so say if tasty. this if this Discord was known for anything, it would be known for their amazing modem use and jar tech in turning <laughs> turning slabs into uh, nice butter jars <laughs> i fucking hate shatter i always turn that shit into sugar or butter when i can why do you hate it though yeah. cuz it's because hard to it, deal because when you try to pick at it it flies across yeah. the room okay into or into your blanket so you know all you got to do is stick it in the microwave for like 5 seconds and then or it won't do it that it can already be soft and not flying across the room yeah Right, right. It's also well, nice I mean, keeping it in a jar because you have a lid on it, and any terps yeah. that are in there will tend to not, you know, dissipate as easily. For the as most it. part, yeah, they'll stay in there, and yeah, that that airtight container will help everything not move. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of like having water in a jar; it's not going to evaporate as quickly if the fucking lid's on. Yeah. And ISO. Do you guys keep your lids on your ISO baths, or do you guys <laughs> just let that shit <laughs> fume out into your room? <laughs> You go through a hell of a lot of ISO if you just have an open air ISO bath. <laughs> exactly. Definitely. And you probably have some nasty shit in the bottom of your ISO baths, like condensed weird fucking water. Ugh. Uh, in the news, I thought this was kind of interesting. People were talking about CBG uh, a while ago. Uh, and this says a research team from McMaster University says an antibacterial compound called CBG is proving effective in mice, at least, uh, helping to fight off resilient families of bacteria. Scientists say the cannabinoid is useful against Staphylococcus aureus, <laughs> uh, which talk. I did, and it, which antibiotics like methicillin <laughs> fail to destroy. The Canadian study examines 18 commercially available cannabinoids, which all have antibiotic properties. And the study lead author, Eric Brown, says some of these compounds are better at fighting infections than others. Uh, He says, quote, the one we focused on was a non-psychoactive cannabinoid called CBG, as it had the most promising activity. We synthesized that cannabinoid in mass quantity, which gave us sufficient compound to go deep into the research. Uh, The tests reveal CBG prevents biofilm, which is the slimy film of bacteria that adheres to a surface from building up. Uh, CBG can shut down any attempt at activity by biofilm to attach surfaces and form communities of its microorganisms. The mice carrying MRSA infections in the study were then treated with CBG. They said the CBG proved to be marvelous at attacking pathogenic bacteria. The findings suggest real therapeutic potential for cannabinoids as antibiotics. That's pretty hmm. sweet. And I mean, that's something that you always hear when there's <clears throat> like that, that flow chart or that... Uh, that graphic of like all the cannabinoids, like a lot of them have antibacterial as like one of their therapeutic properties. It's really? like anti nausea or, or, uh, you know, things to help your, your, your nausea symptoms. Like a lot it, of the cannabinoids. Show that. I've been dabbing some, uh, CBG and it was actually helping yesterday when I was having like some stomach issues, like I isolate know, like food poisoning or something. Just yeah. straight, straight. Nice. You know, that that actually could be, like, almost extremely groundbreaking because, like, the big thing is that modern medicines, antibiotics and stuff have been around so long and used so much that viruses and bugs are becoming used to it and actually becoming immune to it. So, yeah. like, this could be something to completely change that, you know? At right. least for the time Is that, being. like like, one crazy side effect of, like, prohibition in a positive light? Is that, <laughs> well, at least we haven't been using these forever and nothing's really immune to them, so now they work really good for right now. <laughs> so, like, prohibition the bright side. did something good. Don't you dare no. say prohibition did something no, good. Get, but... We need to stop the podcast if now and stop it... recording. <laughs> Edit that part out, editor. In the timeline. The audio editor is going to be. In the weird timeline where it did. I mean, I'm just trying to find silver linings in all this, this craziness. 
Uh, some labs in Oregon having some issues. Oregon regulators suspended the license of marijuana testing lab for a series of violations, most of which predate the facility's destruction earlier this month by the Alameda wildfire. Uh, the OLCC bans EcoTest Labs from operating until further notice, saying the operation poses a, quote, serious danger to the public health and safety. The commission Damn. said it identified at least 160 licensees that receive marijuana product testing for potency by EcoTest since Oct uh, August 21st, and the agency will work with those licensees to have the product retested. Uh, EcoTest first ran into trouble in late July with the Oregon Environmental Laboratory Accreditation Program, the Oralap, for allegedly failing to meet required testing procedures and standards. Uh, and that's that's the problem that you always hear come up about like testing in general is that like every lab has its own set of protocols and standards and maybe some are just not even really testing things like that. You, you heard about that a lot going on at, uh, when this was all first starting. They would just use an average of whatever you said that strain was not even test it. Some of the labs didn't even have like actual HPLCs or any kind of testing equipment. They were literally doing like heuristic database analysis on the strains and then giving you an average of what that supposed strain should test at. It's like making so much money from just scamming people. Uh, that's obviously not what's going on here, but like we've seen a lot of issues like that in, uh, that's in testing up. testing labs. Uh, I, uh, they said they also suspect that testing equipment had been relocated from EcoTest license facility in Phoenix, Oregon, to an unlicensed location in Hillsboro, and test results were being entered into the state's tracking system. Uh, in response, the OLCC launched an investigation. Inspectors were told by company officials that they had transferred product to the Hillsborough location starting in mid-August while justifying incorrectly that Orilap rules allowed for such transfers. Uh, the commission and Orilap informed EcoTest that the activity was not permissible, but the company allegedly <laughs> continued to use the unlicensed, unaccredited facility anyway. Then earlier this month, that fire, the Alameda fire destroyed EcoTest license lab in Phoenix, and the company informed the OLCC that it had the right to permanently move its lab operations to the unlicensed Hillsborough location. Uh, the commission then disagreed with them and suspended their operation. So, yeah, they just I don't. Got wrecked. You're not really allowed to like tell them what you're allowed to do. Like that's kind of their job to tell you what you're allowed <laughs> to do. And job. people in those like positions of power, they don't usually like it when people that aren't in an equal position of power like tell them how to run their shit. I don't think they like it in general. It's just when somebody's right, in yeah. an equal position of power, they can't do shit about it. Yeah. So. <laughs> no i'm not it's, yeah it's yeah, not yeah, all perfect are. in places where everything is legal like there's still problems oh there's problems if you make them and you're stupid yeah you definitely yeah. like if you're doing that kind of stuff you definitely don't want to be on like anybody's radar you definitely right. don't want to be like giving them the middle finger on their radar <laughs> <laughs> like, definitely just a not. big old screw you yeah um as soon as i answer this survey and can read the next article oh uh, lay county flat judge breads. i like flatbreads search car bait oh, wait what was that vegan plant-based there we go all right i just it's lied to it bread. You just threw me off so hard. What was that? I was taking the survey so I could... What survey? The ad. There's an ad and it's like... Do you have adblock? You no. Block? Come on, man. It's what the hell's wrong with you? Because I had adblock and then like nothing would load. Every page was like, oh, dope. I see you're using adblock. How about you disable it to fucking read That's this why thing? That's you gotta use uBlock. Oh, is that different than adblock? <laughs> 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 it's 2020 man come on god how about you find a better way to fund your fucking website than showing me stupid ads before i can read the goddamn article how about that it's 2020 yo ask your ai how can i make money is it Leahy county or lehigh i like it lehigh can we call it lehigh yeah it's french it's lehigh Lay high. Oh, does that mean the high? It means the high, yes. The high. 
All right, continue, but say uh, the high from now on when you're referring to Leahy County. The high. That's dope. Uh, the Pennsylvania Superior Court has reversed a the high county judge's ruling last year that called into question the legality of police officers searching a car based on the smell of marijuana alone. Since a large number of Pennsylvania residents have medical marijuana cards and are permitted to smoke weed legally, which makes sense, right? Like, if Damn, I can finally. legally buy this weed and have it in my car, you can't just be like, I smell weed. What's in your trunk? Right. Like, because like, so what? Is in my trunk. I smell weed, too, dog. I just went to the fucking weed store and bought it. <laughs> like, what do you want? <laughs> Oh my Is God. my tail like, light out? I ah, see. I have a tail light out. That's my bad. Sorry, right? I'll replace it. Give me the ticket so I can be on my way. Uh, but the defense attorney who argued the 2019 case said the appeals court's opinion is not the final word on the matter. Fuck you, buddy. Uh, the Superior Court said Judge Maria L. Dantos' decision to suppress evidence in a Germansville man's ar uh, arrest was not legally sufficient and sent the case back to county court for review. Uh, Dantos then retired last month, so another, uh, another judge will handle the case. Heather Gallagher, Chief of Appeals in the High County District Attorney's That's Office, right. said she is satisfied with the Superior Court ruling. Based on case law, this is the result I would have expected, she said. We will now move forward with the case. While Pennsylvania allows medical marijuana, the police may continue to consider the smell of weed in their probable cause analysis of whether to conduct a search of a vehicle. Gallagher noted. Yeah, of course, what else? Of they... uh, what else would you say goes into that analysis? Let's say uh... they pull you over, they smell something. What? What else goes into the analysis of a, a cop when he pulls somebody over? Maybe guess... he's looking at the driver. Maybe the passengers. Right. Maybe what's the way he looking? Acting. Yeah. What else are they looking at? Probably their record. Yeah. What else? I don't know. What else? The, their race, perhaps? You think cops do that? I wasn't going to go there. Oh, I'll I, go I, there, because I'm not a cop. I think cops are dicks. Especially cops that do that. Right. Apparently we're sticking a stand on this one, huh? <laughs> no, I mean, that's yeah, fucked I, up. I, like, I, I, you're going to smell agree. it. If they're white, you're going to maybe just give them a ticket. If they're black, you're going to make them get out of the car, because that's what we've seen in the past as cops' behavior is, and that's completely fucked. I can't argue against that. And so really this can't. this is just one more one more thing that they can to continue they to can, yeah. I feel like if they can't if you remove the whole like smell from it, I feel like they would be less inclined to do that kind of dickish shit. I feel uh, like they wouldn't because like that's just what they say all the time and even if they don't find anything, it's like, oh well they probably just smoked it. Do they just it anyway. say I smelled coke or something? They're like, I smell meth in here. <laughs> or something. Well, if you're smoking meth, I think you could smell it. I've never smoked like it, plastic. but Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you would smell burning rubber in plastic with meth or coke or crack. But that's weird that you never hear that as the thing. Like, it's always because weed. It's, it's always, I smell it's weed. it's such a telltale sign, and burning plastic can be fucking anything. Yeah, could be this old shitbox I'm driving. You don't know. Right. <laughs> We're going to get you some help, Venter. Don't worry. We're going to get you some help, Venter. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh my God. So the, the case this came from Barr, <laughs> who is a prescribed medical marijuana for an undisclosed condition, was a passenger in his mother's car, which was being driven by his wife. State troopers pulled over the car on uh, Mac Boulevard in Allentown around 1230 a.m. This was back in November of 2018 uh, because his wife failed to properly stop at the 8th Street Railroad overpass. Got a full stop. Got to stop. Let the car rock and then go. You know, otherwise they'll get you. Uh, so they pulled him over. Troopers say they smelled a strong odor of weed coming from the car and informed Barr that gave them the legal right to search the vehicle despite the prescriptions. The officers found less than a gram in an unmarked bag inside a pill bottle as well as a small amount of weed residue. So not even weed, like weed residue in the cabin area. Probably a seed or a stem. Yep, most likely. I know like if I roll a spliff in my car, there's always weed <laughs> residue and tobacco residue like in the car. Like it's just a part of it. A seed or a stem, you know that's what it was. It was a fucking seed. Yeah. 
Uh, they also found a loaded handgun wrapped in what troopers believed was Barr's oh, jacket tucked behind the driver's seat. Uh, I mean, I mean, guns are dope. Not I don't know if I would necessarily dope. in an illegal state have one just tucked in my <clears throat> driver's seat. Like, put it under your seat or in the glove box. Only put it in a glove box if your <laughs> license and registration are not in the glove box, though, because you don't want to pop that open Even and have that fall out. Even in a legal state, you can't have a gun on any premises where you have weed. That's you so can wack. own one, but you cannot have one. Like if you have, if you own a house and you have a gun at that house, you cannot bring. So you're saying I house. have to have my gun house and my weed house? I can't have one house that encompasses both of my favorite hobbies: guns and you, weed. If, yes, if you smoke <laughs> weed at your house, you cannot keep guns there. I'm sorry. I thought this was America. I'm sorry. It is, somewhere. Uh, Danto said the troopers' actions showed a clear disconnect between law enforcement and the medical community on the subject of medical cannabis. At a pretrial hearing, one of the troopers who arrested Barr testified that she believed medical marijuana was odorless. <laughs> I thought because what? it was medical, I thought it, it didn't have a smell. I, that's my bad. I'm sorry. I was just not informed. <laughs> I mean, that makes sense, though. If cops, like, if they're only run in with medical was like Marinol or something like that, which obviously has no smell, then maybe they would think that, but that's a pretty naive fucking. That, yeah. Like right, you're just right. being a dick at, the, at that point. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, judge. I thought medical marijuana didn't smell. That's my fault. What an idiot. Uh, the smell of marijuana is no longer per se indicative of a crime. <laughs> Dantos wrote, in her opinion, with valid license, an individual is permitted and expected to leave an odor of weed emanating from his or her person's clothes, hair, breath, and therefore his or her vehicle. <laughs> While the appellate court agreed with Dantos that the smell of weed alone should not be enough to give the police the right to search a car without a warrant, the three-judge panel said Dantos should have better analyzed other factors in the arrest. Uh, in granting... Uh, su suppression motion, the trial court held that the odor of weed no longer provides police with probable cause to search a motor vehicle from which the odor emanates because a substantial number of citizens in Pennsylvania can now smoke weed. Uh, after careful review, we agree with the trial court that the odor of weed does not per se establish probable cause, blah, 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 blah. So it's going back to another court and she's out on bail, out free on bail while she waits deja vu posted the meme that says that <laughs> nice. smell that smelly smell it's mr that kind of smelly smell that smells mm -hmm. smelly <laughs> i remember that episode good up that was a good episode uh i thought this was cool colorado governor pardoning a bunch of people uh, a bunch of weed related convictions getting overturned uh 2,732 residents who were convicted of possessing an ounce or less of weed. He says the blanket pardons were issued only to those convicted at the state level, meaning that those convicted on municipal offenses were not included in the order. Uh, quote, it's ridiculous how being written up for smoking a joint in the 70s has followed some Coloradoans throughout their lives and gotten in the way of their success. Said. Damn. Is that is that true though? I feel like that's a pretty pretty overreaching statement. Harsh, like, harsh statement. Has yeah, anyone that's probably. like a joint in the 70s? I could see if maybe you were like trafficking a bunch and you had your own plane <laughs> and stuff, but I don't think a joint has ever ruined. I mean, maybe. Cuz like some states will throw you in jail for for quite a while for just a joint, huh? I thought back in the day like nobody gave a shit really and that was the time that like people were yeah. fucking like smoking everywhere yeah and like it got worse now and obviously now it's getting better but you know what i mean it was yeah. worse like when we were fucking kids oh yeah and people would go to fucking jail for like a fucking joint yeah yeah friends wouldn't show up to school the next day and you'd be like what happened They're like oh the cop found fucking weed in their locker it's like you never right. see that kid again ever <laughs> it's fucked. He's just gone it's so fucked God. Now it's just like he's suspended. Do you remember days. when like the the worst thing the school cop had to deal with was weed in a locker? <laughs> God right? damn. No shit. And it's just like I feel bad for that, y'all if you're in school. That made Jesus. you the worst person ever to like you were you were going to jail for the rest of your life. 
Yeah. You might as well just be a, a lifelong criminal if you had weed. Well, that and then everybody else that had shit in their lockers just, like, sitting there sweating <laughs> bullets, too. Like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Hope the dog doesn't fucking bark at my locker. He, he, he doesn't smell coke, does he? Start putting milk bones in everybody else's locker. <laughs> Stay the fuck away from mine, hey, please. Hey, we we'll get $20 next to your locker to put milk bones in his. <laughs> <laughs> I do not, I do not allow this search to happen. Get away from my locker. Uh, I do says, not consent. I do not consent. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> do not consent. Uh, too many Coloradoans have been followed their entire lives by a conviction that is no longer a crime, and these convictions have impacted their job status, housing, and countless other areas of their lives. Colorado was the first state in the country to legalize weed back in 2014, with 10 states and D.C. following. Shout out if you live in any of those states. <laughs> Oh, oh well, what's this one? Prop 207 to legalize marijuana in Arizona. I had 57% to mm -hmm. 38. That's Damn, cool because so just... I feel like last time they tried to do this, the polls were like way, way closer, at least in these these random polls that they have uh, beforehand. But they're... it was more like now split. Like, oh. And now it's like, yeah, this yeah, is way, him. way better. We Damn. Want, yeah, want... that's, that's a lot. Yeah. Uh, full 57% of voters support Prop 207, while 38% oppose it, almost identical to the measure's support early in August uh, when they polled 57 to 37%. Uh, it says Prop 207 would allow limited marijuana possession, use, and cultivation for adults 21 and up and fix outdated criminal penalties for marijuana possession. Arizona is the only state in the country where first-time low-level marijuana possession is still a felony. F in the chat for Arizona. Fuck. Does does five percent just like not give a shit? Probably. Or just yeah. Did vote. They just need that extra number to make it even. Uh prop two oh seven would impose a sixteen percent tax on weed to fund public safety, roads and freeways, community colleges, mental health programs, and substance abuse programs. It would generate at least three hundred mil a year in new tax <laughs> revenues. Cha ching. I I bet you it would double. And create good paying jobs at a time when the state's economy needs them. That's true. I mean, who doesn't need a fucking job right now? A good job working with weed. <laughs> right. Uh, it also frees up police and prosecutors to go after more serious crimes. It would give those with minor nonviolent marijuana offenses on their criminal records the chance to expunge those records, opening oh, wow. doors to better jobs and housing. And see, I think this is like a really good example of the benefits to not necessarily being first, whereas Colorado was first, and they're just now, 2020, getting around to expunging people's records. Yep. And Arizona while not being first, has the chance to look back at what all the other states have done, and they're like, well, let's just put expungement into the bill, and that way just do it all it's together. all at once. It, yeah, all at once. I think that's pretty Instead cool. Instead of doing it over time, yeah. I think it sucks that time, it's a felony quick. for, like, a little bit, <laughs> but I think it's dope that, like, some of that shit will hopefully get expunged. Well, I mean, federally speaking, that's still, like, on the same level as crack, isn't it? Uh, I would assume so. <laughs> I would assume so. I don't know. I don't know. Let's ask the, the crack connoisseur Venter. He seemed to know a lot about, <laughs> awful lot about crack. <laughs> what, what, what is is uh, marijuana on the same schedule as crack? No, because Coke's yeah. schedule two, right? Because no, dentists, yeah. because of dentists. Yeah, it's all Wait, the same what? thing. Oh, crack is schedule one. Cocaine is scheduled two. What? Yeah. Just... And marijuana is schedule one. What? Yeah. <laughs> what? Cocaine, That's crazy. Cocaine, <laughs> by federal definition, cocaine is less dangerous than weed. And they because... put schedule one as it has no medical benefit. Yeah. That was That's a dick move. That was utter bullshit. That was a dick move on their part. Up there's also all the uh, psychedelics, DMT, mushrooms. Yeah, those yep. all have tons of medical benefit. Like a whole bunch. Yeah, no, I mean, Scuffle says it's because racism, and he's well, actually yeah. kind of Th completely right. That's why that Anslinger really, really did it. Used. Yep, Anslinger. Yeah, that was used during Prohibition when it started. And Nixon, all those dickheads. 
Crazy times. I'm glad we're past that. I can't wait to see what Absolutely. happens next <laughs> on this fucked up episode of Utopia. Good fucking God. This fucked up episode of what the hell happens next in the world. Yeah. All right. Well, I don't. Second grandma's titty. <laughs> let's not keep you any more from your dabs as we need yeah, to. Yeah, we, uh, we go any longer. It's dab time. I know. No, thanks for listening. Hotbox daughter, hotboxpodcast.com. Definitely check it out. Uh, come hang out in the dabs Discord. The the message is pinned. If you go to the dab subreddit, super easy to find uh, over on Reddit. Reddit. Yeah, there's a subreddit. I know some of you guys well, don't know that. I, there's a subreddit. Sometimes there's stuff that gets posted on it, and sometimes. Hey, hey, hey. It's sometimes worth, we talk about sometimes it. it's worth reading the comments on. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it is. But uh, yeah, no, you don't have to be there to be here. But if you don't yep. know how to get here, go there. It's pinned right at the top. Here. And then get here. And then yep. close, and that, we'll here. close that window. And then stay here. Are we getting high? We're, yes, getting, we're getting high. high. All right. We'll see you all there. Peace out, y'all. Later. Later.